Whether you're storing documents, sharing files with your team, or organizing folders, SharePoint libraries make it easy to manage your content. My name is Alice Gonzalez. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer, and I'm gonna walk you through how to create and use SharePoint libraries. So in this video, we're gonna walk through creating a document library, uploading and organizing files, using version history, and collaborating with your team effectively. Let's get started. First, let's start with how to create a document library. Document libraries are really a core feature of SharePoint that allow you to upload, store, and organize all of your important files in one place. So I'm on this awesome training team site that we built in one of our previous SharePoint videos here on our YouTube channel. All of those SharePoint videos will be linked below so you can easily watch those after this one. Let's go ahead now and add in a new document library. And to do that, simply go to your SharePoint site, click on new and select document library. We will now want to give it a unique name and a description that fits the purpose of our library. I can go with either a blank library or from an existing library of files. I can also choose a template, right? That'll decide kind of the columns or the information that's getting recorded about each item. And that could be a media library, invoices, learning. And we have all of these templates from Microsoft. You might also see some from your organization as well. I'm gonna go with from a blank library and add in my name. I'm gonna call this project documents. I'm gonna track all of the file items related to a particular project. And that's the beauty of these libraries is you, it's kind of like a folder and you're putting all of the elements related to a certain thing inside of that folder. So of course, yeah, you can have one giant one that dumps all of your files, but what's gonna be more helpful for most people is to have these bit more specific purpose libraries to be able to access just the information related to whatever may be happening, again, on that site. So let's call this one project documents. And then, not required, but I definitely encourage you to write a description. You can decide if you want this to show in your site navigation. So again, really easy to navigate through on the side. And let's hit create. And here is my project document. And you can see we're tracking name, modified, modified by. We can also add in additional columns if we want to track other information related to what's going on for our library related to choice, the date, the person that is, you know, bringing this in, who modifies it, all that great stuff. So document libraries are a really powerful way to keep your files organized, especially when you're working with a large team. So let's look and see how we can easily upload all of those documents here. Now I can go to my upload button and upload my files one by one or I can point to a folder if you know I have multiple folders where a lot of this information is stored, I can just point to the folder, bring the whole entire thing over, or even pull from a template. Now, what I generally will do is drag and drop, right? I will see whatever it is on a different window, a different screen that I have, or just in a file, and then I can easily just drag and drop that information over. So all you need to do is pull it over, drop it into the center area where it says drag files here, and then it will load that item. You can click on that uploading button on the top right to show the progress. And then once it's uploaded, you will see that item displayed here in your library. Let's do a few more so we can get a variety of items here in our SharePoint library. So you can see I added in a Power BI report and I also added in a Excel spreadsheet. I can see each of those items and their size. Again, if you have really large items, you can track you know, their load in this progress pane. So now I can see you have a variety of different file types in this library. SharePoint makes organizing files really easy, but it also offers advanced features to help you manage your content more effectively like version history. So let's explore that next. 
Version history, one of the great features in document libraries because every time a file is modified, SharePoint automatically saves a new version. And this allows you to track changes, restore previous versions, right? If something gets messed up along the way, so I'll make some modifications. Everyone was like, no, 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 that's that's the wrong direction. Let's 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 go back to that old one. You can pull that previous version up. You can even compare edits, you know, one to the other to see where something has changed. Now for these files, we just uploaded these seconds ago, so we're not gonna really have very many modifications to them. But for each one, when you go to the ellipses button, that three dot button, when you hover over each item, I can see a lot of options to copy the link, to share this with others, manage access for who gets to see and edit this. I can also go through to the very bottom where I have my version history. When we look at our version history, we can see every single time something is done, something is modified, edited, it will show up here. So let's, for instance, take a look at this. If I click on, let's do our Excel data so we can pop that up. And let's say I'm going to delete a row. So we made some changes. We see those changes are saved. Close that file out. Now, if I go over to my data Excel file and look at my version history, I will see, look at that. We have two, right? Our new one, 2.0, we can see that modified date and time is on here. So I'm the one that modified it, right? And getting rid of that raw data kind of shrunk things a little bit. And we can see that. Now, if I'm curious about what was the change before or after, I can click right on that modified date or time and it will then pull up that file. Now it is pulling it up on the desktop version for me. So I can now pull over and there we go. I can see that file and I can see what is kind of where that change is at is highlighted, right? And if I go to the previous version, again, it is going to load that file for me. So I can see that previous version um, and have kind of those both. And I can even see, I have a little warning at the top that this is the previous version, but if I wanted to make the latest version, I can hit restore. And then this file would now be the file that is getting shown and viewed in my document library for anyone who wants to view this. So version history really ensures you have control over your documents, even if multiple people are making changes. It's really an essential tool for managing content within SharePoint libraries. Next, let's talk about collaboration. One of the main benefits of using SharePoint document libraries is the ability to collaborate on those documents with your team in real time. Now I can select any of these elements and when I go to share, I can decide who am I going to send this data to, right? Who do I wanna collaborate on my team with? So if I send this to one of our other trainers, let's send it to Angelica. Now I can send this directly to her or I have the ability to copy the link and then give that link out to anyone to utilize, right? At my discretion, right, giving that out. Now if I hit send, right, she will then get an invite in her inbox where she can edit this file. So she would be able to open this exact file up and edit. Now the beauty, right, is when we are doing this, especially when we are doing this on the web version of Excel, PowerPoint, Word, we are able to work in real time at the same time. And I would be able to see if she's clicking through anything exactly where she was at and what she was editing, making it really easy to work with your team so they can see your changes live as you're doing them. You can see their changes live as you're doing them um, in that process. Collaboration really is key in SharePoint, especially when working on projects where multiple team members need access to the same files. It's really seamless and it helps everyone stay on the same page. Now let's take document management a step further with metadata. So instead of relying solely on folders, you can add metadata to your documents like tags or categories, and that makes it easier to find and filter content. So that is a quick overview of SharePoint document libraries from creating and organized libraries to using version history and collaborating in real time with your team members. Document libraries are the heart of SharePoint, giving your team a secure, accessible and collaborative space for managing files. 
Start by creating a library that fits your team's needs and then explore all of the features that SharePoint has to offer and really modify them to make it work for your team. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel here at Pragmatic Works. We're putting out videos all about different elements and programs in Microsoft that can help you succeed. Don't forget, let me know in the comments how do you utilize libraries in your organization and what features would you like to see added or removed? Can't wait to see what you put. Also, if you want to dive in deeper, I have a whole class about SharePoint libraries on our on-demand learning page and I'll have that discount linked below for you so you can get in on there if you are not already a member. And of course, I'll also link all of the other videos I've done about SharePoint here completely free for you on our YouTube channel.